Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about the vacuum pump setup that I have that I've been using on my last couple of videos and I wanted to show you how I put it together. I kind of put together this slide that you can see the different components of it. Starting from the left hand side, I start with a racking cane and that racking cane is connected through a hose to a valve and that valve is used to shut off the flow of the um, wine as it goes from where you're transferring it from to where you're transferring it to. So that valve is uh, marked valve to stop backflow and degassing. We'll talk more about that one later. And then we have an orange carboy cap that I put a um, cut off racking cane into. It only goes into the cap just a few inches and I have that going down the center of that orange carboy cap on the other side of that carboy cap I have a quarter inch barb fitting it's a quarter inch on both sides and fits perfectly in that little tube that comes out of the orange cap so in essence what we're going to be doing is putting the racking cane into the sending carboy the one I'm racking from I'm going to put a cap on the carboy that I am putting the wine to and I'm going to be creating a suction in that particular carboy um, and that suction in the carboy that's receiving the wine will suck the wine through the um, racking cane out of the sending carboy. Now from what I understand the vacuum pump will break if it gets fluid into it so you have to have an overflow container and what I have here is a mason jar that I've used as an overflow container and I'll show you how to make that in just a minute but basically what that does is if the wine in the receiving carboy um, basically overflows and goes through the tube going to the uh, air pump or the vacuum pump um, it won't make it to the vacuum pump because um, that jar will catch any overflow that goes um, through the orange cap overflowing. On the other end of that overflow jar I have a T fitting um, that is quarter inch T's on each side and I use the quarter inch T barbs so that um, it's easy to just squish a hose onto it um, so I have that and I have that going to a valve to release the pressure from the system and um, it's also going to another valve to control the uh, pressure coming out of the pump alright so basically the one closest to the pump controls how much pressure the pump has on the system uh, would it you know open all the way it's full pressure and the um, other valve, the valve to release the pressure from the system is important because even if you shut off the pump let's say you want to stop the flow even if you shut off the pump there's still pressure in the system and wine will still flow until that pressure is basically equalized well let's say you want to stop the pressure right away even if you shut off the pump you need to relieve the pressure in the system and that valve to release the pressure will stop the flow almost immediately. So the valve to release the pressure in normal operation will be closed and then if you want to relieve the pressure you open up the valve to uh, you know devacuum the system. So let's look at some of the components I used to make this. The first thing is the heart of the system is the vacuum pump. You can get these on uh, Amazon. I'll put some links on the bottom. But I got mine at Harbor Freight Tools. I had a 20% off coupon and used it and got it for a pretty good deal. Okay, so for the receiving carboy, I have this orange carboy cap. And I created this picture so you can see um, the parts, one superimposed on top of the other. I have a racking cane that's been cut off. It only protrudes a few inches. Um, I'd say maybe about eight inches into the carboy. 
um, going through the center hole on the orange carboy cap. And then I have a quarter inch by quarter inch barbed fitting that's going through the uh, smaller tube on the orange carboy cap. All right, and for the overflow, uh, again, this is really important because you don't want wine back feeding into the uh, vacuum pump. Um, I made this out of a mason jar, and there's a plastic uh, screw lid that you could get for the top of the mason jars. So um, let's talk about, you know, basically how I constructed this thing. All right, um, first you got to get yourself a mason jar. And they come with these metal tops, and you might be able to also do this with the metal top, but I did it with a plastic top. So I got in a plastic top, and I drilled two holes in the plastic top using a uh, hand drill. And I happened to use this Christmas tree bit because I wanted to make a circle that I could test fit with these threads. Yeah, so I used these nylon elbows. I got everything basically from Lowe's. I just happened to go through the section and try to see what I could get that would fit. Um, so I got these nylon uh, hose barbs a quarter inch and I basically put them into the top and siliconed in on the top the um, nylon barbs and let that dry completely overnight before I put silicone on the bottom. This is the particular silicone that I used and I basically just put it around the hole before I put the barbs in. I let that dry overnight and then I took a piece of hose like this, put silicone on the underside and squished that hose on only one side on one of the barbs. Um, that's going to be for the part that is closest to the orange cap, the one closest to the wine. So this way the suction coming in from the other side is on the top of the cap. Any wine going back flowing into the overflow jar will be directed to the bottom of the jar. And now all of these valves that I got, I got threaded on each side. And I happened to use these barbed fittings um, on each side so that the tubes could easily connect to them. So each one of those valves has two of those uh, barb fittings, one on each side. And I also got a similar type barb fitting to go onto the vacuum pump itself. So I could easily connect up hoses anytime I want. And that's basically the system. Um, in a nutshell, if you have questions, uh, definitely ask. I'm sure there might be less expensive parts to make this with um, than the valves that I happen to use. They were quite expensive. Uh, I got everything brass and you know there might be other ways to do this but you know me with my limited plumbing experience or anything like that I put this together um, went together pretty easy now in using this let's say you're racking from one um, wine into a carboy into another carboy the valve to stop the backflow in the gassing if you shut that off and not let the wine go through Whatever wine is in the receiving carboy will be being degassed and no additional wine is being moved in. Now, what I found is even with it opened, it's degassing as it's transferring. It does an amazing job at that, actually. Very, very impressive. Now, another good reason to have that valve is since the wines don't need to be one higher than the other, they could actually go in the opposite direction of that you would use for siphoning. Um, if you shut off the pump and everything, you wouldn't want it to start reverse siphoning back if the receiving um, carboy was actually physically higher than the sending carboy. So um, if that's the case, you could shut that one off to stop the backflow back from where you uh, siphoned the wine from. Alright, so I hope you found this video helpful. Anybody who uh, has asked me about it, um, figured I'd put together something for you. So that if you wanted to do something like this, again, I got the pump from Harbor Freight, but I know they sell them on Amazon. I'll put a link for them underneath here. Um, and all the other parts I basically got from Lowe's with the 
exception of say the orange caps and the racking canes um, even the hoses I got from Lowe's so um, I'm sure Home Depot probably has it any of those type stores might have it Ace Hardware um, any plumbing shop probably have those things but you know again I hope this was really helpful for you I just absolutely love this uh, setup and it's working great for me and uh, I hope it works great for you if you decide to build one I think it is well worth it. All right, thanks for watching. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com, with the dashes in the middle, or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and have an awesome day.